Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli and today our topic is how to get WhatsApp alerts on Elementor form submission and add responses in Notion database. So here I'm running a consultancy firm and I have added my Elementor form in my website for getting the contact detail of my customer. Now as I'm going to receive a new form submission from Elementor form, then automatically I want to add all those detail in my Notion database so that I can have an effective data management. Now after adding these details in Notion database, I want to get the alert message on WhatsApp for all the form submission. So for getting the message on WhatsApp, I'm going to use WhatsApp Cloud API and for my objective, I have to build a connection between Elementor, Notion and WhatsApp Cloud API. So for building this connection, I'm going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. Now with Pabli Connect, as I'm going to receive a new form submission from Elementor, then automatically I'm going to add all the customer detail in Notion database and I'm going to get the alert message on WhatsApp by using WhatsApp Cloud API. So how I'm going to build this connection? For that, let me take it to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen and today we are going to see that how we can get WhatsApp alerts on Elementor form submission and add responses in Notion database. So in the fast paced digital world, businesses need efficient ways to collect and manage form responses to ensure seamless communication and organization. Elementor, a popular website builder, allows you to create engaging forms to capture valuable information from your website visitors. However, manually handling these responses can be a time consuming and prone to errors. This is where integrating WhatsApp and Notion with your Elementor forms can revolutionize your workflow and by connecting these applications through Pabli Connect, you can automatically send form responses to your WhatsApp and create organized entries in Notion database. Now imagine I'm a business owner running a consultancy firm and I have a contact form on my website built with Elementor. Now in this form, my potential client can inquire about my services. Now with this integration, I can have immediate client communication and when a client submit the form, their response is instantly sent to my WhatsApp and this allows me to quickly acknowledge their inquiry, providing a personal touch and enhancing client satisfaction. We will also have efficient data management and simultaneously the form responses are automatically added as an organized entries in Notion. This will ensure that all client inquiries are systematically stored, making it easy to track, follow up and manage your client interaction. So this integration is going to save time, reduces manual errors and improve your response time, ultimately enhance your customer service and business efficiency. So in this video, I will guide you through the step-by-step -step process of setting up this powerful automation using Pabli Connect. Now here what we are going to do is, we are going to use Pabli Connect and we are going to build this connection between Elementor Form, Notion and WhatsApp Cloud API. So here we are going to use WhatsApp Cloud API for sending the notification on my WhatsApp. So WhatsApp Cloud API is an official API platform by Meta. Now here what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this connection between Elementor Form, Notion and WhatsApp Cloud API and for that we need to use Pabli Connect. So I'm going to open a new tab and for using Pabli Connect I need to search for pabli.com slash connect in my browser and this will take us to this landing page of Pabli Connect. Now here we have two options sign in and sign up for free. If we don't have any account with Pabli Connect, then we can just click on this sign up for free button and this will take only two minutes of our time and we will get 100 tasks free every month. Or if we already have an account, we can just sign in and we will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I need to click here on this access now button under Pabli Connect and this will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now here what I need to do is I need to create a new workflow and for that I'm going to click here on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Now here I need to name my workflow so I'm going to name it as my objective which is to get WhatsApp alerts on Elementor form submission and add response in Notion database. Now what I need to do is I need to select the folder where I want to save my workflow so I'm going to open this tab and here I will find all the folders that I have in my Public Connect account. And here I have this particular folder of Elementor. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to click on create. And this will direct us to this most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. 
and trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So here in our workflow, we need to first set up our trigger and in our trigger application, I'm going to use Elementor. So I'm going to search for that. And here in our workflow, we can only set up one trigger step and multiple action steps. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to select Elementor here. And now I need to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab. A new form submission will be my trigger event. So I'm going to select this. And now I need to connect Elementor with Pabli Connect. So for that, I need to use this Vabook URL and this Vabook URL is going to work as a bridge between Elementor form and Pabli Connect. Now for connecting these two applications, I need to follow all these instructions. And first I need to copy this Vabook URL. Now I'm going to take you to my form that I have created with the help of Elementor and I have Elementor as a plugin in my WordPress account. So I'm going to first take you to my form. And here I have all these forms and this is my form that is named as customer contact form and I have created this form with the help of Elementor and also I have added this form in my website for collecting customer contact details. Now here for connecting this form with Pabli Connect, what I need to do is I need to click here on this button of add it with Elementor. Now here this is my contact form and now for connecting this what I need to do is I need to first click on this pencil icon button. And after clicking here, I need to go to my edit form section where I need to scroll down and here I have this option of actions after submit. So I need to open this tab and here I need to add my action. So I'm going to click on this plus icon button and I'm going to add my action as Vabook. So I'm going to search for that and I need to select Vabook here. And as I have added my action, we can see I have added this new tab of Vabook. So I'm going to open this. And here in this tab, what I need to do is I need to give the Vabook URL that I have copied from Pabli Connect. So I'm going to paste that here. And now I have added my Vabook, so I need to click on update. So I have connected my Elementor form with Pabli Connect. Now I need to go back to Pabli Connect. And here we can see it is waiting for Vabook response. So how I'm going to get this Vabook response? For that, I need to create a new form submission by adding all the detail of my customer and I need to get all the detail here in Pabli Connect. So I'm going to go back to my form. I'm going to preview my form. And here this is my contact form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add all the detail of my customer. So the first name of my customer is going to be Michael. Last name will be Karis. Email will be michaelkaris at the rate pablitudes.com. And here I'm going to give the mobile number. Now here I'm going to give a random mobile number of my customer. So here this is the random mobile number of my customer and I'm going to give the city. So city here will be Mumbai and I'm going to submit this form. So I'm going to click here and I have successfully submitted my form. Now as I've created the form submission, I need to take you back to Pabli Connect. And here in Pabli Connect, we can see I have received this response. So in the response, I have my form name that is contact form. I have the first name of my contact that is Michael. I have the last name that is Karos. Also here I have the city that is Mumbai. I have the random phone number or the mobile number of my customer. Here I have the email address that is michaelkaros at the rate pablitudes.com. So here we can see that as I've submitted my Elementor form, I have automatically and instantly received this response in Pabli Connect. So here I have received this response and I have received all the detail of my customer from my form submission. Now what I need to do is I need to first store all these detail in my Notion database to create an effective data management. So for that I need to first set up my action tab. So I'm going to open this tab. And here now I need to use Notion. So I'm going to select Notion here. And I need to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab. And create database item will be my action event. So I'm going to select this. And I'm going to connect Notion with Pabli Connect. So I'm going to click here on connect. I will click on add new connection and I will connect with Notion. Now I need to scroll down and I need to click on select pages button. And here I have all these pages and all these database in my Notion database account. Now I need to select the pages that I want to use. So I'm going to select all the pages here. And now I need to click on allow access to give access to my account. And I have successfully connected Notion with Pabli Connect. 
Now here I need to first select my database. So I need to open this tab and here I will find all the databases that I have in my Notion account. And here I have received all these databases because I have selected all the pages while creating this connection between Notion and Pabli Connect. Now for selecting my database, I need to first take you to my Notion account. And here we are going to use this database of customer contact details. So we are going to use this page or this database. So I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. I'm going to open this tab and here I'm going to search for my database that is customer contact details. So I'm going to select this and now I have all these columns. So I had all these columns in my notion database and I need to fill all these columns with the detail of my contact that I have received from my element or form submission. So here I'm going to add all these detail and I'm going to map those detail and for that I need to use mapping. So what mapping is, mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous steps and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I need to click here. I will open this response of Elementor and here I need to map my city. So here this is my city that is Mumbai, so I'm going to map this. Similarly, I'm going to give the phone number or the mobile number of my customer, so I need to click here. I will open this response of Elementor. And here this is the mobile number of my customer, so I'm going to map this. Now I need to give the email address, so I need to click here. Again I'm going to open the response of Elementor. And here this is the email address, so I'm going to map this. And now I'm going to map the name, so I'm going to click here. I will open the response of Elementor. And here this is the first name, so I'm going to map this first. I will give a space and I'm going to map the last name. Now here I have this tab of content. And this is a hidden tab or a column in Notion database. So here we can add the description of our data entry and we can add any detail that we want to add. So here my content will be, we have received these details from the new form submission. So this is going to be my content. And now as I've filled all the detail and I've mapped all these details here, I have mapped these details so I've made these details dynamic. Now what is going to happen is that as I'm going to receive a new response from Elementor form, then automatically all these details that I mapped here are going to get replaced with the new detail of the form submission that we are going to receive from Elementor in the real time. So as we are going to receive the new responses, then automatically these details are going to get replaced and we are going to add new details of the customer in Notion database. Now I'm going to scroll down and I need to click on save and send test to quiz button. And here I have received this response. So this is a positive response and this means that I have added all these details of my customer in Notion database. Now to check this, let me take you to Notion. And here in Notion we can see I have added this new row. So here I have the name of my customer that is Michael Carus. I have the email that is michaelcarus at the rate pablitudes.com and I have the random phone number of my customer. I have the city that is Mumbai. So here we can see that automatically I have created this database item and I have added all the detail of my customer that I have received from my element or form submission here in Notion database. So here I have successfully created this connection between Elementor and Notion and now what I need to do is I need to get the alert message on my WhatsApp for this form submission. So I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and now for getting the alert message on WhatsApp I need to add one more action step. And here in my action application, I'm going to use WhatsApp Cloud API. So I'm going to search for that. And I'm going to select WhatsApp Cloud API here. Now I need to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab. And send template message will be my action event. So I'm going to select this. And I need to connect WhatsApp Cloud API with Pabli Connect in my workflow. So I'm going to click here on connect. I will click on add new connection. And here for connecting WhatsApp Cloud API with Pabli Connect, I need to give a token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. So how I can get all these details and how I can create my WhatsApp Cloud API account. For that, what you need to do is you need to first open this hyperlink of learn more. And this will take us to the forum of Pabli. Now in this, we will see all the instruction of how we can get all the details that are required to connect WhatsApp Cloud API with Pabli Connect and how we can set up our WhatsApp Cloud API account. So you can follow all these instructions and you will get to know how you can connect and create your WhatsApp Cloud API account with Pabli Connect. Now I already have a WhatsApp Cloud API account so I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and here I need the token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. 
So I'm going to take you to WhatsApp Cloud API. And here in WhatsApp Cloud API, we can see I have all these details like the access token, phone number ID, and WhatsApp business account ID. So here what I need to do is, I need to first refresh this access token. And I have refreshed this as this is a temporary access token. And you can also generate the permanent access token. And you will also find that detail in Pabli forum. Now here what I need to do is, I need to copy all these details and I need to paste them in Pabli connect. So I'm going to do that. So here we can see I have filled all the required details. Now I'm going to click on save. And I have also connected WhatsApp Cloud API with Pabli connect. Now what I need is, I need the template. So I'm going to use my template that I've created in WhatsApp Cloud API. And by using that template, I'm going to send an alert message or a notification message on my WhatsApp number that I have received a form submission. Now for selecting the template or for creating the template, what I need to do is I need to first take you to my WhatsApp Cloud API account. And here we need to click on this hyperlink of click here. And this will take us to WhatsApp manager where we will find all the message templates that we have created in WhatsApp Cloud API. Now here these are all the templates that I have created in my WhatsApp Cloud API account. And if you don't have any template in WhatsApp Cloud API, then what you need to do is you need to first click on this create template button. And after clicking here, you can create your template. You need to follow all the instruction and you need to customize the message that you want to send on WhatsApp. So after customizing the message and following all the stuff, you need to wait for taking the approval for your template from Meta. So here I've taken my approval for this template that is named as customer form submission. So I'm going to open this. And here this is my template. So here I have this message that says, hello, you have received a new contact form submission from your website. Here are the details. So I'm going to add the detail like the name, email, phone number and the city of my customer. Please follow up with the customer as soon as possible for their inquiry. And this is going to be my message that I've added in my template. Now for all the form submission, I'm going to send this detail. And here I have added these variable for the name, email, phone number and the city. And by adding these variables, what is going to happen is that as I'm going to receive a new form submission from Elementor, then automatically all these details are going to get replaced. And I'm going to send the message for the new details each and every time. So I'm going to use this template. So I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect. And now for selecting my template, I need to open this tab. And here I will find all the templates that I have in my WhatsApp Cloud API account. And here I have this template of customer form submission. So it is already selected. And my language code and template ID is already selected as a default. Now what I need to do is I need to give the recipient mobile number and I need to fill all these details of variables. Now for the recipient mobile number, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give my WhatsApp number because I want to receive this message on my WhatsApp itself. So I'm going to type my WhatsApp number and my recipient mobile number should be in this format. It should consist the country code without the plus sign. So I'm going to type my WhatsApp number here. So here this is going to be my recipient mobile number and here I have all these variables. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to map all the detail of the form response that I have received from Elementor. So I need to first map the name of the customer. So I need to click here. I will open the response of Elementor. And here this is the first name. So I'm going to map this. I will give a space and I'm going to map the last name. Now I'm going to map the email address. And I'm going to map the phone number. And I will give the city. So here I have filled all the required details. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on save and send test request button. Now here we can see I have received this response. So this is a positive response and this means that I have sent an alert message on my WhatsApp for the Elementor form submission. Now to check this, let me open WhatsApp. And here on WhatsApp, we can see I have received this message. So I'm going to open this. And here this is my message that says, Hello, you have received a new contact form submission from your website. Here are the details. So the name is Michael Karras. Email is michaelkarras at the rate pabletudes.com. I have this random phone number of my customer and also I have the city that is Mumbai. Please follow up with the customer as soon as possible for their inquiry. So here we can see that I have received this alert message or this notification on WhatsApp for the Elementor form submission that I have received from my website from the customer. So in this form submission and on this message, we have received all the detail of the customer that I have received from my form submission. And here I have successfully created this connection between Elementor form, Notion database and WhatsApp Cloud API. Now as I'm going to receive a new form submission from Elementor, 
then automatically I'm going to add all the detail of that form submission in Notion database. And as I'm going to add that detail, then I will send an alert message on WhatsApp with all the detail of that form submission. So like this, I will have the efficient data management and immediate client communication. So here I have successfully created this automation and this integration between Elementor form, Notion database and WhatsApp cloud API. Now I'm going to go back to Public Connect. Now while successfully setting up this automation between Elementor, Notion and WhatsApp cloud API, I can automatically get WhatsApp alerts on Elementor form submission and add responses in Notion database. Now let's summarize what we did here. So first I've set up my trigger and my trigger application was Elementor and my trigger event was new form submission. Then I've set up my action step and my action application was Notion and my action event was create database item. And in the last I have used WhatsApp cloud API as my action application and my action event was send template message. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this by using Pabli Connect. So if you want to reach out to us, then email us at support at the rate pabli.com. And if you have any queries, then you can write us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any issue with the pricing, then you can visit this link. And if you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.